onto the airlock. And this gas tank was launched on 129 on the pallets ELC2. And so the first thing they're gonna do when they come outside is prep the airlock for this. You see Bobby, he's gonna be closing off an oxygen valve um, to an existing gas tank in the air, on the airlock. Um, that's for prep of connecting the O2 and then we will be doing a leak check for that as well. You see Bobby here, he's gonna be relocating a foot restraint that's there. Um, he's gonna install um, another foot restraint when the gas tank or for the gas tank installation on the airlock. Bobby is gonna translate out to the seat of cart where he is going to pick up another foot restraint and carry that out to S3 um, to where ELC2 is and where the gas tank is installed. And you can see the gas tank um, on the pallet. <coughs> he puts the foot restraint in there. Um, he's also gonna be installing um, some adjustable tethers on the gas tank. And this is to help in the, the handling of the gas tank. Uh, when they remove it, they are gonna be um, maneuvering it some so that those tethers are gonna help him do that. While Bobby is performing all of that, Comrade heads out to the payload bay right after egress and he's gonna be removing um, two experiments from the payload bay. Uh, we call them the MISIs, uh, which is, stands for Materials ISS Experiment. And this is the, these are the MISI 7s. Uh, we have had several of these on orbit already. So he takes these and he bundles them together so he can translate with both of them out. And he's gonna meet Bobby out at S3 because the permanent location of these, these experiments will be on um, ELC2. And you can see Bobby, or I'm sorry, you can see Comrade. He installs these experiments and he's gonna leave it at that spot. Um, once the gas tank is removed, he's going to finish the installation of those. So both crew members are needed to remove this gas tank from the pallet. And they're gonna need to tilt it up 90 degrees. And that is for the arm the station arm to come on over and grapple to that. And it's gonna take the gas tank out to the airlock for installation. So in the meantime, um, during that arm translation, Comrade is going to finish the installation of the MISI experiments. And so he unbundles them and puts the one in the other socket and these experiments, they're almost like suitcases where you just, you open them up. So once they're installed, you open them up and there's um, experiments on the inside of that. So it's gonna expose the experiments to the vacuum of space. While Comrade is doing that, um, Bobby heads on back to the airlock and he is prepping the airlock for this gas tank installation. So he installs a, um, a foot restraint there. Blinking right now is a guidepost, which uh, we expect Mike to install during EVA2, um, and that's just to help robotically when, to, to make sure that the gas tank is getting into the right position when it's being installed. There are also two um, debris shields that need to get removed from, this, from the airlock. You can see a picture here from the, the pool. Both crew members are removing these shields, and they're going to, um, basically clamshell them together and tie those off with, uh, with wire ties. It's um, easy for translation and it just keeps them in a, good, in a good position, a good config. So once those shields are removed, it's about time that the gas tank will be coming over and both crew members are going to assist in helping the installation of that gas tank. So there is an antenna that it's a very tight clearance um, that we are not planning on removing. Um, we're gonna be relying on Bobby and Comrade to make sure that we do have enough clearance. If for some reason um, there isn't enough clearance, we'll 
pulled up on the, the arm operations will move that antenna out of the way, finish the installation of the gas tank, and then relocate that antenna if necessary. So once the gas tank is installed, now it needs to get hooked up to the oxygen system on the station. So they open up the door there. There's a quick disconnect that um, is going to, to attach into the station. We are going to be performing some leak checks and make sure, making sure everything is um, properly mated. So once the gas tank um, task is complete, both crew members are going to head out to S3 and we are going to be deploying yet another one of the payload attached systems. This one is the Zenith inboard. Um, and all of this is very similar to the other PAS deploys that we'll be doing. Um, they just removed a diagonal brace. You can see the a yoke coming out, bringing the pallet up. They'll reinstall that diagonal brace and then um, secure the yoke down onto structure. And this deploy um, is for a future flight. And the same thing with the, the one we deployed on EVA-2. So once that is complete, um, the crew members are going to now um, take care of those um, debris shields. Uh, so we are either going to be taking them and securing them together and stowing them outside or bringing them inside. So we're still exploring our options for that task. And that is the conclusion of EVA 3.